Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp. And today I'm just going to do a quick video uh, about the specials for August and then my pre-order that I uh, got yesterday. I took everything out of the package um, so it wouldn't take so long and um, put my thinlets on my magnetic sheets and all of that good stuff. And um, I decided to only get, right now, I got all of the Halloween stuff that I wanted, and I got all of the fall stuff that I wanted, and I got a couple of Christmas things. So I'm going to place another order in September um, for the rest of my Christmas stuff that I want. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, I have my first big giveaway. Um, for everyone that orders from me um, at my website, uh, happystamp.stampinup.net, you order $35 before shipping and handling um, and tax. Um, using this hostess code, you must use this hostess code I am putting, I am going to be giving away a Stamparatus. Um, so at the end of the month, um, I'll do it September, probably after Labor Day, uh, maybe before, it just depends. I don't know if we're going, you we usually go camping on holidays. I don't know if we're going this year or not. Um, so either on the first or right after that weekend, I will draw the name. Um, and then some send someone out a Stamparatus. Now, like I said, there's conditions. You have to order $35 or more using this hostess code, um, $35 before tax, shipping, and handling. And then I'll put everybody in a hat and draw for the Stamparatus. Okay, so that is number one. Number two is we are having bonus days. This is just like Kohl's Cash. Love Kohl's Cash. For every $50 you spend in August, from August 1st to August 31st before shipping and tax, you will get a $5 bonus days coupon. That will be emailed to you. Make sure you keep your email or your code because you will not be able to get it back again. I can't get it for you. So you have to make sure that you keep them. There is no limit. For every $50 you spend, you're gonna get a $5 bonus days coupon. Now, if you spend $150, do not use my hostess code because you are going to get benefits yourself, okay? Um, I will still put your name in for the drawing if you, draw, if you um, order over $150. I will still put your name in for the drawing for the Stapparatus, um, but you want to get your own hostess reward, so make sure that you do not use my hostess codes. You want to use your own rewards, okay? I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, get in touch with me, email me. Um, hopefully you can see my information there. My email address is Lisa Trucken at yahoo.com, and that's L I S A. T R U C K E N at yahoo.com. And I will put that in the information below for if, in case you have any questions. And in case you're wondering, that used to be my part of my maiden name. That's why I, that's my email address. <laughs> um, okay, so that's number one. Number two is the Blooming Summer Savings with Pumper Paper Pumpkin. You, if you have never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin before, you want to, to do it now. You will get your Paper Pumpkin with shipping included for the month of August only for $9.98. That includes shipping, $9.98. But you cannot have ever subscribed to Paper Pumpkin before. You can, let me rephrase. You can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin before. It has to be a new email address, okay? This is until August 10th. 
Now, not only do you get the perk of having your paper pumpkin for $9.98, for every for the for three customers that I sign up, I get something also. So I've already got two. I'm just waiting on my third one. Um, this is the code to use, Bloom0818. Um, and then make sure at the end it'll say pick your um, demonstrator. If you would please pick me as your demonstrator, I would surely appreciate it. Now this is going until August 10th. It ends at August 10th. But you get 50% off your first paper month of paper pumpkin. And on August 12th, after they have shipped, you can cancel. There is no obligation after that. Cancel right after that. You just have to go to your paper pumpkin account um, and, and cancel it. And it's, it's paperpumpkin.com, paperpumpkin.com. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to email me or message me. I will be happy to, to um, answer that. All right. So I think that is it for my announcements. This will not take very long because I did not go crazy because, like I said, I only got the Halloween suite, the Thanksgiving suite, and I got the um, a couple of Christmas things, and that was it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to start out with my... Um, textured impressions embossing folders. Now this one is called Subtle and it's it's like our um, textured um, cardstock used to be. We used to have textured cardstock and this is what this reminds me of. Now this is in the annual catalog um, but I didn't get it until just right now um, because I thought it would be great for Halloween cards. Um, and this is the one of the, the thick dynamic ones so you only need one acrylic plate I forgot the B, um, but this is the, the number for that. This is, I can't wait to use this because this is going to be really great. Okay, so this one is in the annual catalog. Uh, okay, this one is called Tintile Dynamic. This is also one of the, th the thick ones, and this looks like um, the tin squares that you put on a ceiling or on a back backdrop. This is in the um, Halloween, not the Halloween, the Thanksgiving suite. This is this is really neat. I, I really like this one. And then this one is called the Corrugated Dynamic. This is another thick one. Um, this is going to make your paper corrugated. We used to have corrugated um, paper, and now you can have it in any size that or any color that you want to. Okay. All right, um, all right, so I'm just going to go with the Halloween stuff that I got. So let me see here. And a couple of the Halloween things that I got are not really Halloween. Um, Christmas, they are, I think can be used for Halloween. So that's why I got them. And I'm going to show you those too. But I'll, first off, I'll, I'll show you... Um, my Halloween things. Okay, so these are the stamp sets that I got. I think there may be one more. I can't remember. Um, but I got the Cauldron Bubble, and that comes with a matching framelits. Aren't they adorable? So, so cute. So you get um, a framelit for this, a framelit for the little frog, for the gal, for the broom, the hat for the cat, and for the um, ghost. And then you also have one, a spider web, and you also have some stars here. So that's going to cut that out. Now, we also got some awesome designer series paper here. Um, I got two sheets of this because I do believe that I am going to be having a... Well, I know I'm going to be having a class in um, September for um, Halloween, but I think I'm going to do a sampler, and I think this is going to be really cute in the sampler. So this, I'm not for sure, but I wanted to check. So here's the little gal, and yep, sure enough, 
it fits right on here, right on this little gal, right here. So awesome. Okay, so we have that one. And then the back side of that is these cats. They are so cute. And I'm not an animal person. I'm sorry if you are. Don't get mad at me. I'm just, I, um, I just, but they're beautiful if they're someone else's. I have no problem if they're, they're, um, someone else's. I had a dog for a while and I loved him to death. Um, his name was Thunder and he was a Siberian Husky, but the hair, oh my gosh, everywhere. Um, so, uh, unfortunately we don't have him anymore, but, um, yeah, these are just so cute. That's what I was trying to get at. So cute. Okay, so that's the back side of that one. And then we have these ghosts. And these ghosts, some are um, like gray and some are purple. Cute. I, I believe, I think that this is going to be Highland Heather. And then um, that's the back side of that one. Great stripes. Love this pumpkin one. And then on the back side are the um, brooms, the cauldron. I don't know if that one, let's see if that one, let's see if that one, yes it does, look at that. So that one's going to cut out the cauldron, it's going to cut out that one. What about the cat, does the cat work? Let's see if the cat works. Sure enough, look at that, oh my goodness, how cute. I love it that they have started to do that. That is just awesome. I wonder, does the frog, let's see if the frog fits. The frog, this one looks a little big, but let's see. Yeah, that one's a little big. All right. So, and I love the stripe in here and the spiders. I hate spiders, but I love the spiders. And then, oh, love this green. Okay. And then we have the hats, and I do think that the hats fit. Yep, hats fit. Awesome. So this is going to be a great class that I'm going to have. This is going to be so awesome. On the back side, the frogs. So cute. Let's see. Do any of the frogs? Nope. Too small. All right. And then the bats. Love the bats. With the bats, we have a punch. And I know that this punch punches out, let's see, right like this. That's going to punch those three bats out just like that. Don't you love it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we'll go back to the bat punch in a minute because there's a stamp set that goes with it. Um, and then on the back of that is the great stars. Okay. So there is the awesome Halloween paper. All right, so then we saw this stamp set. Then we have the Spooky Sweets, and this is the one that, this is a bundle. Um, so you say 10% is you get this in a bundle, and then it has the bats that you can punch out. Now also the other thing that I got um, when I did my pre-order is I also ordered, because I didn't order it before, I also ordered the little twinkle stamp set because the punch also fits this moon and this star on here. So I ordered this bundle also because I didn't hadn't ordered it before. So, um, but I thought if I'm gonna get the punch, I'm gonna get the stamp set. I always get I always get the bundle unless I really 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 dislike something, which I've never done. Uh, I don't think then I don't get the bundle, but. Um, so that's why I got the bundle. That's why I ordered this on my pre-order. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay, I got to get it now. Um, so, okay, so that goes with that. And then the trick or tweet. Cute, cute, cute. Love the cat. That cracks me up. The little birdie, an elephant, and a doggy. Your spooktacular party animal, baddie for you, trick or tweet, scare up a little fun the little Halloween basket. He can be holding that. This can be on his trunk. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. All right. So there is that. And what else is in the Halloween suite? The other thing that's in the Halloween suite is this great ribbon. Let's see if I can get this open here. 
And I'm, I'm not sure that I ordered everything in the Halloween sweets. I don't remember. Um, and unfortunately, I did not get a catalog with my order. Um, I got an email saying I accidentally didn't get one, so it's going to be mailed out on Monday. And I hate looking at them online. Um, so we'll see. But it will be mailed out on Monday. So, And I paid two-day shipping for my stuff so that I would get it yesterday so that I could do this today um, and I didn't order any catalogs because I thought I was going to get my catalog and um, I didn't want to pay two-day shipping on those catalogs so all right so this is black see-through and it's got great silver sparkle on it it's awesome love it okay and then you get these you can get these cute spiders aren't they cute i love them and my first thought was okay i am making earrings and a necklace and maybe a bracelet out of these things um i love halloween my mom and my sister and i we just that's our that's our holiday we all go all out so i may be making some for them too but these are just so cute so i got two of these because i knew i was going to need them if i don't use them on any of my products i projects i knew that i would use them to make some jewelry with so um and then i think that is it for what i got for halloween now i like i said i got a couple other things that i think i can use for halloween um i was thinking these birch trees I can use for a background for Halloween and not only Christmas. Now, I think that came with this stamp set, um, Farmhouse. And I also was thinking that you can use the tree, you can use the house, you could use the, um, the fence here, spooky fence, um, as Halloween too. So, no, I don't think this one came, that, no, Farmhouse came with this one what came into the woods that's what it was sorry okay into the woods came with this one this came with into the woods so this this is a bundle that you can order together um but you can't i think the only thing that this stamps out is this tree right here yeah it does that tree um otherwise there are the other images we have this fern here the pine cone and that is it so this one just cuts out the tree this one cuts out the tree um the tree and then it in and it cuts these little um like branches in there so that you could put like snow on them so that's really neat <coughs> sorry and i like that they gave us like there's three of the there's only one i think there's only one stamped image Yep, there's only one stamped image of this little branch here, but they gave, you can stamp it three times and cut out three at the same time, so that's really nice. So this, even though this is a Christmas set, I, I got it now to use these um, trees here for Halloween. And I did get the same thing for the farmhouse Christmas. I thought that this house and the tree... Um, and maybe even these little speckles could be used for Halloween as well because they come with this stamp set, um, this thinlet set, and I think that this, you could use this for Halloween totally. You could use this for Halloween um, because there's no, I mean, this is kind of like wonky with the style of the shutters and, you know, this is, the leaves are, have all fallen off. So I definitely think that you can use this one for Halloween too. So that's why I got this one now. I, I would have, otherwise I would have just gotten it later. But but it has, um, I might as well do this here. It has that truck. Um, you can cut out the house, the tree. Um, it's got a couple of banners, the little... Um, wreath and you can cut out two wreaths so that's nice and then a snowbank it's not going to cut all the way to edge to edge unless your paper is this 
size, but you could um, use this for snow banks, so that'll be great. Um, okay, and then the other one that I got, I thought I could use for Halloween, was Night Owl. Um, so sending warm wishes your way, wishing you a season filled with beauty and joy. Um, but the owls and the branch, to me, say Halloween. And then you could use these for stars instead of snowflakes. Um, so, but it, and it comes with little um, pine ferns um, that you could put on the, the branch. So you can use this stamp and cut this out. This will cut this out. And then this one is just a detailed, a more detailed um, owl that you can just sit on the branch. So that's the reason why I got this one now is because I thought that this is definitely could be used for Halloween also. All right, so I think that is it for my Halloween stuff, I do believe. Yes. Okay. All right, so now for the autumn sweep sweet and i don't think that i got everything in there because i believe that there i know there's i think there's ribbon and i didn't get any ribbon i didn't get any more ribbon so um yeah i know there's got to be more all right so here is the paper for the autumn uh sweet and it is called country lane designer series paper here here so we have this milk jug with some um, foliage and pumpkins and the back side is uh, rich razzleberry dots and then we have um, this is probably so saffron let's see it tells you down here what colors uh, nope I guess it is crushed curry so this is crushed curry, and then that side with more pumpkins and greenery. Up, some more rich razzleberry. This looks like the tiles. And then some cotton. So that's really neat. And then we have a big sheet of cotton with some more rich razzleberry. And then we have a wood grain. This is gorgeous. I don't think I saw this and then some stripes. And then one more. We got some foliage here and a like sweater-like um, pattern right there. All right, so there is the paper that's called Country Lane. And the stamp set that matches that is called Country Home. And that's got all of the, it's got the milk jug and another pitcher and the foliage. Simply thankful for all the good things. Happy harvest blessing. So grateful for, all, for someone like you in my life. Here's a little, another image of the little tin thing. Um, here's a, a tag that can go on the front of this. So this is a great one. Another one that I was excited for, and the reason why I was excited for it is because it actually says Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I haven't had a Happy Thanksgiving in a long time, so I was actually very, I was very excited about this. Um, it's got some pheasants and a wheelbarrow with pumpkins. Wishing you health, happiness, and the riches of God's bounty during this season and always. And some leaves and a little bucket with some gourds in it. So I was really, really excited. Um, for this because I'm if nothing else I will use it for the happy Thanksgiving because we haven't had one in a long long time all right and then the other one is uh, falling for leaves um, this is going to be so pretty so it's a photopolymer this is just going to be um, so pretty on vellum and then color the backside so it looks like stained glass. Very pretty. And then this one has some um, framelits that go with it. Detailed leaves. So um, yeah, these are just going to be so pretty. So this will cut out this. Um, this 
So this one has a two parts. So it has a leave that will cut out this, and then you can cut out this, and then cut out that. So that will be really pretty. And then it has a nice border, two-piece border. So nice. And then this one will cut out this one. Thinking of you with a grateful heart, thankful, harvest of thanks. So, yeah, really like that. That's very pretty. All right, the other thing that I just had to get now is this stamp set here, Buffalo Check. I saw it, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> so this is just a solid background stamp. Um, picnic, um, you know, a tablecloth, anything. This is, I love this. This is great. This is like one of, yes, this is great. I forgot about the um, galvanized clips. This this is in the um, Thanksgiving suite. These are pretty. Um, showed you that paper. Oh, the other, the other paper, where did it go? I forgot about this. I forgot that I got these. Okay. So the other thing for the um, Thanksgiving and this... Uh, Tin tile embossing folder. We have galvanized metal paper. It it looks like a sheet of galvanized tin. So that is going to be really, really, really pretty in this tin folder. Um, so that's galvanized metallic paper. I got that. And then the other thing that I got, I forgot about this for the um, Halloween, is we have black foil paper. Yes, it is beautiful. So that will be good for Halloween. Um, and then I also got the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. So these are big droplets and these are the clear ones. And the good thing about these is you can have them any color you want. All you have to do is take your blends and color them and you can have them any color you want. So this is the um, clear and this is the frosted. All right. All right. And then as a special promotion in um, September, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek because you're not going to be able to order this in, um, you're, you're actually not going to be able to order this at all. This is for hosts in September. So if you have a party or you order $250 worth of product, you can get this um, pack of paper for free. So this is a Christmas set. It's got stars and then it's got some like newspaper on the back side. And you get four sheets of each one. So we've got four of those. You get 12 sheets. So you have that one. And then you have this one and the stripes. That's really pretty. It makes me dizzy though. And then this one looks like wallpaper to me. Like it's not, but it looked like it looks like it should be flocked. And then some poinsettias on the back. So this will be, look for information coming soon. This will be in September. 
Um, we were able to order it now so that we could market it. Um, but this will be coming, like I said, in September. Last thing that I got, I got, oops, dusty. It's been sitting in, um, um, in a shelf, on a shelf. The last thing I got were some more blends. So these are not new. I just needed these, these ones. So those ones are not new. But we have six new sets of blends. I didn't get them all. I didn't get the Christmas ones yet. I'll get those uh, in September. Um, you can get, so we have, we have the light and, light and dark Mango Melody. We have the light and dark Rich Razzleberry. We have the light and dark Cajun Craze. And we have the light and dark Basic Black. Awesome. And then there's two more sets. Um, the light and dark um, the new green spruce. I can't remember what the first name, um, I can't remember what it is, but, uh, the spruce one and then light and dark real red. We have poppy parade and we have cherry cobbler and now we will have real red. So that's really awesome. Um, so I do think that that is it for my pre-order. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So if you have any questions at all whatsoever, please feel free to email me, leave me a message below, message me on Messenger, however you want to get a hold of me, um, and I will answer your questions. Don't forget about my um, promotion for August. Use my hostess code, over $35. You'll get put in a drawing for a Stamparatus. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I have some of my retired stamp sets for sale, and I have a page... Um, on Facebook called Retired Stampin' Up, Retired Stampin' Up Stuff for Sale, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. Retired Stampin' Up Stuff for Sale. And um, look that up on Facebook. I have some older, um, like, older stuff for sale. Um I have like the nailed it bun bundle for sale, um, and I have the um, a cuppa with the cups and kettles for sale. I have some older stuff on there. Um, I've sold a lot of the newer stuff that's retired. That's pretty much gone, but I do have some older stuff for sale. Um, um, so if you have any questions on those, go ahead and leave me a message. I can direct you to the to the correct place. But that is it. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. There are a few things that you could order now. If you would like to order them, use the hostess code www.happystamp.stampinup.net. And thanks for coming along with me. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.